Good morning, everyone, and Shavua Tov. So we've been counting the Omer now for 24 days. Today's the 24th day of the Omer. As you know, we count from Pesach to Shavuot. But it's actually in this week's Torah portion, Amor, that we start studying today, that we're given the commandment. The Torah says from the day after the beginning of Pesach, the second day of Passover, the day that the barley offering was brought in the temple, the Omer, you should count seven weeks, 49 days, till you get to the holiday of Shavuot. And it's interesting that when you look in the book of Psalms, King David says, Linos yomenu kein hoda. Teach us God how to count the days of our life. Now, what is there to learn about how to count the days of your life? Ask any person, how old are you? They tell you how old they are. It's not something you have to learn. It's very basic. What does King David mean? God, teach us how to count the days of our life. And what he's saying actually is, yeah, everyone knows how to count years. But do you know how to count the days of your life? Do you know how to recognize and appreciate the value of each and every day? You know, when you look at your bank statement, you want to know exactly how much money you have. You don't want to round it up to the closest thousand or ten thousand. You want to know dollars and cents, right? But when it comes to years, um, this amount of years, that amount of years, every day is too precious. And therefore, you can't just count how many years you have. You should value and count the days of your life. We find this with our first patriarch. Abraham, it says, Abraham Zakein, Abraham grew old, Baba Yaman, he came with every day of his life. In other words, he knew exactly what he did on every day of his life. He, had, he was accountable for every day of his life. He was able to demonstrate what he achieved every single day of his life. And, and how do you learn how to count every day of your life? So the rest of the verse, King David says, teach me how to count the days of my life. The Navi Levav Chachma. How do you do that? By growing or developing a heart of wisdom. Now, we all know wisdom is in the mind and the heart is the emotions. What King David said is when we fuse our mind and our emotions, which is what the fillin is, the head and the heart, and we integrate the mind and the heart, and we live a life where we don't just follow our heart's desires, but our mind guides every moment and every day of our lives to live properly, that's the way we learn to value and make every single day of our lives uh, worth living. And that's the message of the counting of the Omer. Count each day. Don't just count weeks or months or years, but recognize the tremendous blessing of each and every day. The Chafetz Chaim used the following analogy. He said, you know, when you go on a trip, you send a postcard back home overseas. At least that was in the days of the Chafetz Chaim, right? Today you send an email or a picture on your WhatsApp chat, right? But in the olden days you bought a postcard. I don't know, do they still sell postcards? Does anyone still use postcards? I don't know. But either way, everyone knows what a postcard is. He says, when you start a postcard, Dear whoever, I'm having a great time, blah, 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 right? Halfway through the postcard, you realize, oh, I have a lot more to say. I don't have a lot of room. So you start making the letters a little smaller, right? And then by the end of the postcard, you're cramming in these tiny little letters. He says, that's the way life is. You're young, ah, I'm 20 years old, I'm 25. I got my whole life out of me. I got a lot of time to kill, a lot of time to splurge, to waste. He goes, I got a whole life out of me. Suddenly, you hit a midlife crisis. Oh my God, I'm 50. You know, I'm halfway through the postcard, or less, I gotta stop gooing everything I wanna do. And now when you get older, like, uh oh, I got very little time, I gotta start cramming everything in. So, what does the Chafetz Chaim say? The smart person, he doesn't wait till the end of the postcard. In the beginning of the postcard, he realizes, I only have this much space, it's a finite little box. I better start making sure I'm using every square inch of this box, of this little postcard properly, and they don't waste time from day one, from the beginning. That's the way we should live our lives.